Democratic Congressman Ted Deutsch of Florida. Uh, Congressman Deutsch is the chairman of the House Ethics Committee. He sits on the Judiciary Committee as well. Uh, Congressman, we, we expect an impeachment vote tomorrow, it would seem. Uh, first of all, do you think it'll pass? And second of all, how many Republicans uh, do you think will hop on board and vote to impeach? Uh, yes, it's going to pass, Craig. It's good to be with you. Yes, it's going to pass. We don't know how many Republicans will sign on, but I think it's really important to start with where we are today and tonight when there's a vote, uh, again, to tell the vice president of the United States that he should do not only what members of Congress and Democrats are telling him to do, but what so many Republicans have said, so many business leaders, so many conservative commentators who reflect on what happened last week, this assault on our Capitol that was incited by the president of the United States. And the vice president should step up and and start the process for the 25th Amendment. If that fails, if he doesn't do it, then Congress needs to act. We've only seen more images. We've seen more video from last week. Uh, it was repulsive. It was horrifying. It was an attack on our democracy. And we have to respond. This morning, the president reminded us why it's so important um, by failing to acknowledge that he had any responsibility at all for what happened here. We can't simply allow this to go on and, and hope that for the next week before the inauguration, the president won't do anything further. We need to move forward. We need to remove the president. It, it, to your point, at the top of the hour, we heard President Trump trying to place the blame on Democrats, specifically uh, Speaker Pelosi, uh, Senator Chuck Schumer, uh, for, for dialing up the tension by pursuing impeachment. This is what the president said. Your reaction to that? Dialing up, sorry, Craig, dialing up the, the tension? The president of the United States has spent four years attacking the judiciary, attacking the Congress, attacking our institutions, viciously attacking his rivals, and and continuing to spew these conspiracy theories, making things up about uh, his belief in, in this fantasy world that he won the election, uh, and then going out and telling the people at the rally to fight like hell, uh, to to win, to take back the democracy from the election that he says was stolen from him. The, all of the responsibility here lies at the feet of the president. The reason that this is so important for us to move forward is, one, yes, to make sure that the president uh, is held accountable, but also not given enough attention here, Craig, is the fact that by acting in this way, we will ensure that Donald Trump will never again be on the ballot and that perhaps that will finally allow us to move forward. The president-elect Biden wants to unite the country. We need to give him the chance. And the best way we can do that is to ensure that that Donald Trump is no longer a part of the political picture going forward. I want to drill into that, that briefing that uh, House Democrats received about the specific sure. threats there uh, at the Capitol. Uh, it's our reporting that members were reminded of the guidance that the, the purchase of a bulletproof vest is a reimbursable expense. Your, your Democratic colleague, uh, Congressman Connor Lammy, told uh, CNN that one threat could include 4,000 people surrounding the Capitol, preventing any Democrat from entering the Capitol. He says that the group behind it published rules of engagement, meaning when you shoot and when you don't. What else can you share from, from that briefing? Well, I, I won't go into the specifics, but what I, what I absolutely can point out is after what happened last Wednesday, after a deadly attack on the Capitol, uh, where these mobs incited by the president uh, viciously attacked the Capitol Police, uh, resulting in, in death and destruction and an attack on our democracy. We can't take these reports about the threats, the, the threats for next week uh, as anything less than utterly serious. And when the president, as he did last week, in the midst of this attack, when the president goes on and issues a video saying that the people who are attacking the Capitol violently, that these terrorists, that these insurrectionists are very special to him, that he loves them very much, and then continues on even this morning refusing to acknowledge the, the severity of what happened in his responsibility, um, we've got to take this seriously 
That's another reason why it's so critically important for us to move forward with this resolution tonight and for us to move forward with impeachment. The threat is real and we have to treat it that way. And it starts with the president. Con Congressman Deutsch, if you've got a few moments, stand by for me. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.